up guys back to another video in the Real Valladolid career mode series today we are in episode 4 now and we have a game against Real Madrid coming up huge huge game here in the league um, again the team that we've not been able really to beat but again they are a top quality side with some brilliant players so it is going to be a very hard challenge for us but hopefully we can try and overcome that and try and beat Real Madrid it will be a hard task as, as, as I just said but it's no harm trying. They do have the first chance of the game. Uh, carrying Benzema trying to get on our front post. But a good save there from Masip. And we do get that out easily. But we did give it to Fala Mendy very cheaply. And it's Danny Ceballos. Danny Ceballos again. And a brilliant save there from Masip. Again all in the 10th minute. And they are coming again with Rodrigo in the 17th minute. And he's cutting back inside really well. Can he find someone in the box? Yes he has. Tony Kroos. And he scores right in the bottom corner. Tony Kroos scores for Real Madrid. A very very bad stuff there. Uh, but they are coming forward now again with Rodrigo. His Tony Kroos. Rodrigo again with lots and lots of space. Here's Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Brilliant save there from Masip. 21st minute. Hit. Um, here they come now. Danny Ceballos. Karim Benzema. Very unlucky there. Here we're coming now. Bubakari Samare. Plays a beautiful ball there to Myron Buadu. And we really should have scored there. Here they come though in the second half is Karim Benzema to get plays a beautiful ball there to Eden Hazard and a brilliant save there from Masip again. And we are coming forward now. Rodrigo gives us Thomas Munier. Can he play across into the box? Yes, he has. And we have given it away. Wow. And um, I'm not sure who's the scorer there in that occasion, but I'm pretty sure it's Martin Odegaard who scores for Real Madrid. 79th minute now, we are coming forward with Bubakari Samare. Can he make something happen here? Gives it to Tony Villa. Quite promising attack here. Here's Myron Boyd who gives off to Waldo. Tony Villa is in the box. Free all alone. Here's Tony Villa. Can he score? Yes, he can. In the 81st minute, Tony Villa scores. And we are back in this game. Can we try and nick a draw here? 84th minute is Tony Villa. Gives it down to Owen Wyndle with plenty of space. Wendell plays a beautiful ball inside. Myron Boadu to Tony Villa. Myron Boadu again. Boadu. <coughs> and he scores. Oh my god, my voice is going. But Myron Boadu, 86 minute, scores for Real Valladolid to give us a draw in this game. What a result. Yes, and it is full time. We have come back in pretty much the last 10 minutes of this game to win it. Wow. What a result there. And I'm very, very happy with that. And uh, we are going to be getting, that is going to be the only game I'm pretty sure of this episode. And uh, we are going to do a lot of transfer business here because we are going to try and do some more stuff. But we have the £14 million to spend. And we are going to spend that with Edmund Tapsoba. He is our long-term Mateo replacement. And uh, hopefully he can try and get something done. We are going to offer a uh, Zhao Quinn here again. I'm not too intending on letting go Zhao Quinn, but if that's what they want. Uh, Tapsoba is going to be a future brilliant player. His value is 16 million, so we will have to offer quite a bit here. We are going to offer 10 million plus Zhao Quinn. See if they uh, like that offer. Hopefully, they do reduce their value quite a bit again. But yeah, so we'll just have to see what they say to that. They do want 11.8, so that is a very good deal for us if they do accept it. And uh, we are going to try and lower that to 11 million plus uh, Zhao Quinn's 10.5 million value. See how they do on that one. And they have accepted. Edmund Tapsoba could be coming to the club and we are going to get straight into his contract negotiation. This shouldn't be too much of a stumbling block because he is at Bayer Leverkusen. They don't have the most extreme wages like we do in the Premier League. So we are going to uh, try and negotiate this. He does want an important role and uh, obviously we're going to accept that one. Five year contract length as always. We want to tie our players down to as much. He is, his wages are quite a lot though to be fair. 41 and a half thousand pounds and uh, we will have to try and try and offer similar to that but we are going to offer £40,000 with a 100 um, signing bonus just to get this deal done quickly and they have accepted and Edmund Tapsoba is coming into our side 79 overall would be very very good for us so guys we are going to try and bulk up a squad a bit more and we're going to sign some more free agent signings again these are rubbish players so I'm just going to show you briefly what we do with them Again, we've got this guy called Pimenta Alfonso Fernandez, who we do accept the deal for. Next one is Ibrahim Bozes. Again, four-year deal, which we are going to accept for him. Again, prospect player, all between the ranges of 58 to 62 overall. So they're not really ever going to play for us. We do accept this release clause for this guy. Again, not too bothered. If they do go on that sort of money, that is, again, still a profit. And that's what I like to see. Next one is Lucas Caruso. He is quite, uh, he's quite a good one, to be fair. The best out of the free agents. But this one, um, he's not a region signing, Andre de Jong, again, he's of New Zealand and uh, he'll probably be playing for the national side, I won't be surprised if he would. 24 year old though this time and uh, he, we are going to offer him uh, quite a decent chunk of money 
again decent chunk of money compared to the others because he is uh, like he's actually played games and he does accept that and here are the overalls of some of the players we have signed De Jong is 62 and Caruso is 59 that is the best as we get and uh, hopefully that is good for us and next up is the contract negotiation for Jeremy and Mathieu. I do want to hold on to him, even though I bought in Tapsoba. I think he'll be a very good replacement as like a backup for us. So I'm going to try and negotiate a deal for him. Hopefully he does accept an uh, important role we are going to give him. And he is happy with that. Again, he's 37 years old, which is very crazy. We do accept a one-year deal for him with no release clause, which is perfect. Again, I don't think anyone would pay release clause for 37-year-old, which is crazy. Uh, we are going to try and reduce we're going to try and give him a wage cut if he is going to stay at this club he needs to take a wage cut we are going to give him a decent like signing bonus just so he's happy with it but he does want 500 pound more on the wages we are just going to accept that as long as he's taking a pay cut i don't really mind and uh yeah Gidi, we are gonna uh, we have loan yeah we have put him on loan so hopefully we do get some offers in for him which would be very nice and Mateus Fernandez has come back from his loan so we are gonna be playing him so I think that does pave the way for Gidi to go out on loan and hopefully we can try and get that happen and uh, most Mohamed Salisu is back from his injury which is very very nice to see uh, Ricardo Gidi we've got an offer from Real Sociedad um, a one year loan deal I don't want a one year loan deal for him so I do want to get a short term deal for him as you can see in the contract negotiations they do accept a short term deal and hopefully that is accepted yes it is and uh, Ricardo Gidi has been loaned out for the rest of the season we do have a simulation against Girona as we edge towards the end of the January transfer window and uh, let's see how we do in this game against Girona and it is a very comfortable 4 0 on and Abraham is injured hopefully that is not for too long we'll have to see about that and uh, actually I've not seen it yet but I think it's uh, six weeks I believe um, he's out for but here's uh, we're playing Real Madrid in the Copa de España we do lose 3-1 which isn't great I'm not too worried about this competition and yeah our next game is against um, Zaragoza in the league we are sitting in seventh by the way these league games are quite easy they're against the bottom side so I do believe we can get easy wins here and uh, this next one a two comfortable 2-0 win Alcaraz and Waldo scoring and yeah, as I said, our Abraham is going to be out for a while. Uh, sorry, I couldn't show you how long exactly it was for. But Deportivo is the next game. Hopefully, we can get a comfortable result in this one as well. And it is a 5 0 win. Dalo Tapsoba scoring. Alcraz with two. And Buadu scoring. So Tapsoba scores his first goal for the club, which is very, very nice to see. Uh, we are in transfer window deadline day. And I do intend to get one or two more deals over the line. I have an idea. It is a very crazy idea. And it is of Gianluigi Buffon. So you can sign this guy for one pound. And just for the memes, I do want to sign him for one pound. Again, on a serious note, he is 83 overall. So I think he will be very good for us in terms of a replacement for Masip. Maybe in simulations just to give him a rest. Because our backup keeper is uh, 70. Uh, one overall or something so we are and he has accepted one pound uh, Juventus so, so we are going to give him a 900 million pound release clause why not and he's accepted a three-year deal which is crazy but his wages are quite a lot but to be fair what he's on on Juventus he has taken a huge wage cut which is very nice we're going to get removed remove the bonus and we are just going to accept that offer and hopefully he does accept he wants a tiny bit more on the wages I'm not too bothered and we are going to sign Gianluigi Buffon and uh for, for the sake of this, I just put him straight into the lineup. I'm pretty sure Masip, I'm going to give him more games, to be honest. Masip is a very good goalkeeper. And Buffon is mainly, they're quite similar goalkeepers though, to be fair. And uh, just just so, you know, yeah, just a replacement, just a bit of memes. Uh, we are going to sign this player called Reina again. Abraham is injured, so just for the rest of the season, I do want to loan in a striker. I'm not too convinced with Plaza, to be honest. He doesn't bring too many goals to the side. So we are going to see how this one does. Right now we are going to loan him in. He's got 60 million release calls. We can't afford that now. But maybe if he does really well for us, you never know. We could try and um, get his loan. We could try and uh, sign him permanently. But I might extend his loan to be fair if he does really well. We'll have to see in the summer transfer window how we do on that one. He's, he's on 68,000, which is quite a lot. And uh, I want Madrid to play 60 to 40, and they do accept that. And um, hopefully Reynard does accept a loan deal. And into the third hour, uh, of transfer deadline day Reyna does come in so we have signed Buffon and Reyna on deadline day so we have signed quite a few players top sober four free agents and we have signed Reyna and Buffon Reyna hopefully will be playing in this game and we have finished transfer deadline day and we do have a training injury and that was a Waldo so I'm so happy I brought in Reyna now because um 
yeah, um, Raynor can actually get a start in this game, which would be very, very good to be fair. And uh, so that is it for today's episode. Next episode, we are playing Atletico Madrid. We are sitting in seventh. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.